Dear friends, often in life, we categorize and compartmentalize people. Oh, that fellow, he's learned, he's a Tamil Chacham. That person, he's a Baal Chesed, he's really into helping other people. That person, mm, he's not much. That person, ooh, he's a special person. Yet the Gemara teaches us that the, even though we compartmentalize, we make a hierarchy of where people belong. The Gemara says there was a particular Rav, a particular Torah teacher, that went up to Shemaim, that went up to heaven and came down and shared. That what he saw in the world to come was absolutely astonishing. El Yoinim Lamata, some of the people that he thought were amazing at the highest level, Lamata, they were insignificant. And Tachtoinim, those who he thought were insignificant, Lamala, were considered some of the most highest quality people. Why is that? And there's many layers of understanding. I'll share one thing. The Chayva Salavafas writes one of the most frightening things. He says that if you speak Lash and Hara about another person, besides for the terrible damage and the Avera, they get all your schusim, all your merits, all your mitzvahs, and you get automatically all their averas, all the terrible transgressions and the bad things, the evil that they've done. So it comes out if you think about it. You have a person who has worked so hard in so many areas of his life, in learning, in davening, in chesed, in personal growth. And they callously speak Lashon Hara about a person who may not be much. All of a sudden that person shoots up and becomes El Yoinim, one of the people at the top tier. And that person who you perceived as being incredibly righteous, Lamata, sinks down to the bottom. Says the Chayvis Halavavas, that's how counterproductive speaking Lashon Hara is, not only for the person you're speaking about in terms of the harm that you give them, but yourself. We are harming ourselves in the greatest way possible. And the Mepharshim all struggle what the tshuva is, how we could reclaim it, etc., etc. But we must take this to heart. It's just not worth speaking Lashon Hara. We don't want to lose so much of we've worked so hard to, to accomplish. We want to keep our successes. And we always want to be El Yainim. Shoimer Pivu L'Shoinai, the Pasuk says. One who guards his lips and his mouth. Yishmar Mitzaras Nafshay. He keeps himself away from Tsaras from all the terrible consequences of what happens when he speaks Lashon Hara. Let's be mechazik ourselves, let's strengthen ourselves, let's bite our tongue, let's speak positively, and Be'ezer Hashem will be able to ascend level after level until Mamish, each and every one of us, is El Yainim. We're at the top, we're with the Rabbi Shalala. Great Hatzlacha and success.